What's up? Two-time Call of Duty World Champion here, and today I'm going to give you guys the best ranked class setups for you to fry. I'm currently in the top 250, as you can see, but let's give you the freaking sauce. So we all know the Vaznev is the best SMG in the game, and I have a couple classes to share with you guys. That way, you have different options. You're not just stuck to one specific class. Like, I know the pros like their build, but I have some good ones to show you guys. So first off, we're going to be starting off with the Vaznev. These are the attachments I'm running. We got True Tech Grip for the Sprint to Fire ADS. We got the FS a shark fin for the aiming auto stability and there's no cons the bruin to help the recoil control and it has light impact to handling which is nice and then we have the new stock broadside fct which gives you crouch movement speed ads run to fire all these good things i know it affects aim walking speed which some people don't like now one of the cons of this build is literally the aim walking speed but a lot of you guys know in ranked tuning is allowed and everybody's tuning if you're not a pro player or competing to be a pro tune back fight fire with fire so i'm going to share with you guys my tuning help you guys obviously have the best build and best class setup for the broadside we're going to have it all the way to ads and all the way aim walking speed this is going to help counter the slow aim walking speed true tag grip a little bit to the sprint to fire ads you can see the exact numbers so you can kind of put them there if you'd like for the fss shark fin we're going to have it all the way to ads and again all the way to aim walking speed we're trying to counter that slow aim walking movement speed and then for the bruin we're going to have a little bit more towards the recoil stabilization that helps with the horizontal recoil and then the gun kick control so right now i'm going to show you a little preview you can see the strafing speed is actually decent with the tunings without the tunings it's a little bit slower than this but it's okay it's not necessarily the best but it's not horrible as well and now for my secondary i'm gonna be running a knife on pretty much every single class it's gonna allow you to sprint tactical sprint double the duration which is gonna help you get to places and rotate to places we're gonna be rocking a stun semtex and then i like running tack mask in respawn of course you can't go wrong with dead silence as well especially on the smg it's a must now for my next class we got the tac 56 the best ar in the game and this is what all the main ars are using we're going to be running a trophy system instead of dead silence because trophies are really broken in this game especially when you're holding a hill whether it's a hard point or control you definitely want to use these things for the build though let's go ahead and let's get into it we got the tundra pro barrel this is the barrel what everyone uses. We got the FSS shark fin. We got the high velocity rounds to help that bullet reg. We got the FSS combat grip. And then we have the cardinal stop. Now, this build feels one, it's a little bit more mobile. It has good recoil control and it still feels pretty fast. Now, before I get into the tunings, I'll show you very quickly. You can see the recoil is very, very good. It shoots pretty damn straight. It's very fast in terms of because you get a little sprint to fire speed, you get a little ADS speed. And but the secret, I guess, more to it is also the tuning. This is like a very it's a, it's a slightly faster, I like to say, AR build with the TAC 56. So for the tunings, well, let's get into that. A little bit of recoil steadiness. We're gonna leave the bottom in the middle. FS has shark fin a little bit towards ADS and a little slightly towards aim walk and speed. For the high velocity, a little bit towards damage range and 2.6 to a bullet velocity. For the FSS combo grip, we got all the way to ADS and a little bit to sprint to fire speed. And then for the cardinal stock, we're going to have it to a little bit more towards ADS and almost all the way to aiming idle stability. Now, let's get into the pro Vazna build. And you look at my skin, by the way. The dragon skin looks pretty cool, right? Um, But side note, it's going to be the same thing that we showed in the first build. The only difference here is the stock. We're going to be going to the Ultra Zat, Ultra Zat stock. Hopefully, I pronounced that right. I don't know. Let me know. Um, But this is the stock we're actually going to be using. And you're going to notice a faster ADS speed. So you can see the walking speed is definitely a noticeable difference. It's not like, oh my God, it's crazy, but it is a noticeable difference. You actually walk a lot faster with this. And the recoil control is still very good. Everything else very good. A slightly slower ADS and sprint to fire. That is the main thing you're going to lose a little bit compared to the broadside. But it's still ADS and sprint to fire is very fast. And this is a build that you probably wonder why do pros like this build a little bit more? Well, in this game, your footsteps are very loud. So when you're ADS walking, it's it's one, you're a lot lower. It's harder to hear you. And two, you have your gun up. So you're ready for a gunfight, which is pretty good. So again, it's the same attachments. The only difference is the tuning. Obviously, I'm going to show you guys some of the tuning as well. A little bit towards aim walking speed and ADS speed. Now I want to share with you guys my secret build. This is more of an SND Vaznev build. Now this is good on some maps. You don't have to use it on all the SND maps. Mercado, I feel like is a good example of you kind of want a faster SMG, but the other maps, you can kind of use this one. Uh, I've had some crazy kills with it. Now what's the main 
main difference. You're actually going to have a barrel on this build, and it's going to help increase the damage range a little bit. You know, the Vaznev got a slight nerf to damage range, so this kind of helps counteract that and obviously gives you a little bit more. So we have broadside instead of, well, broadside is the stock I like the most. So I've been running this one. So we got broadside, same tunings for these four, and then the barrel, the Kaz one barrel, because you don't want the other one slows down your movement speed. It feels a little clunky. And for the tunings, all the way to recoil steadiness and a, in the middle between them both. I've messed around. You can put a little more damage range you want. I, I would probably put like 0 0.25, kind of in the middle between them. If you go all the way, it becomes very heavy. You don't want to kind of ADS too slow. And you can, if you want to mess around more aim walking speed, you can obviously give yourself more aim walking speed and search. I just like that very strong laser high damage range Vaz for these crazy kills and search because obviously you're taking more longer range fights. Show you guys very quickly basically what it's going to look like. You can see it doesn't really recoil much at all. And the TTK at range feels pretty damn nice. Uh, that's a pretty far fight, but you can see... I don't know if I get aim assist in these things, but it feels pretty damn good at range. And it honestly looks kind of looks cooler, huh? Side note, two th things I forgot to mention. I am running a frag grenade and I'm also running bomb squad in search and destroy. So these are two things I like to change compared to respawn where I run tack mask or battle hardened, I guess it's called and a semtech. Now for a sniper build, because I'm sure a lot of you guys want a quick scope and get some crazy sniper kills, but this is the sniper class run right now. We got the five round mag. We got the Cronin cheetah grip. We have the FSS Merc stock We have the Cronin zero p optic scope and then we have the 22 inch barrel this sniper is obviously um probably the best sniper in the game right now you can clearly see your target if it shoots straight it's very ads is somewhat quick and i mean honestly snipers are pretty broken in this game at least in multiplayer <laughs> but the one thing is i don't really tune these sniper at all i don't tune it at all if you want to mess with the tunes you can i like it i like how it feels the way it is and for the last thing the final thing the tac 56 now this is like my search and destroy tac 56 now now, there's a different version. This one, again, Battle Hardened Semtex Trophy System. There is certain maps in Search, like Mercado Defense, when you're trying to get aggressive in the, in the house area on the A-bomb, where you kind of want a team to have a trophy because it helps. But most of the time in Search, you want Dead Silence. Dead Silence is very, very good. Again, you could have a trophy every now and then. It just really depends. But most of the time, you want to have a Dead Silence. So the difference is I have Dead Silence, Bomb Squad, so I don't get one aided and then frags grenades because, you know, you can hit those Kobe's and get those crazy kills, you know, bounce them off walls. And they're definitely better than Semtex and SND. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps a ton. We're going to be doing some more of this type of content, so you don't want to miss it. As always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I appreciate you all. And you can watch me live at twitch.tv apathy. I'll see you there.